Hello, and welcome to the Weekly Scroll Podcast. My name is Ryan. And I'm not Jarrett Crater. What? I am. <laughs> what? And this is uh, Not Cat Chats, episode two, our monthly uh cat hating podcast where all we do is talk shit on cats wow. the whole time no that's not that's not wow. what we're doing. okay sorry no this is our monthly i hate cats and then they give me shit about it but then uh-huh. we talk about um, there we go. space penguin inc and uh, any random bullshit that comes to our mind with the one and only Jarrett crater how are you doing this morning Jarrett? I'm doing, um, it's, uh, it's lunchtime, uh, over here on the other coast and, um, I had burritos, uh, mm-hmm. shout out to, nice. sh- shout out to orbital intelligence. If you are listening in the background, um, yes, I had burritos. Good times. I had, I don't, did I eat yet? Today? I haven't eaten yet. I don't, so. I don't know. I don't know. What, I've been up all night and I don't remember what I ate. I have coffee right now though. So there I just we had are. some. I just oh, had some. Look at that. The blood of my enemies. Um, mm-hmm. So, oh yeah, I love this mug. This is a great one. This is uh, Wizard of the Barge. Blood of my enemies. Love me some Wizard of the Barge. What do you got against coffee cherries? What's a coffee cherry? That's what. That's where you get the blood of, of coffee out of. Did you know that coffee cherries are fruits? I did not know that coffee cherries now, are fruits. Now you know. Now you know. Yeah, look at us. What happens if you eat a coffee cherry? Uh, you get it's it's called cascara, and you get just like a little bit of a buzz from it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do they sell coffee cherries anywhere? You can, yeah. You can get cascara, and like you can actually you can brew it and <laughs> stuff like that. <clears throat> you? I can't um, stand you guys. <laughs> what? No, seriously. Like one of one of one of one of my friends, um, Kaylee. Uh, uh, Kate again won um, nationals uh, for pour over coffee. That uh, she's a barista, nice. Uh, and I, I know all kinds of stuff about coffee. I used, I've worked at some coffee shops before, so me too. And drank it a lot of them. And really, which one? Uh, I worked at a. I mean, first off, I worked. I worked at Starbucks for like six or seven years. I was there forever. Right on. Um, and that was. I mean, because I moved a bunch, and they let me sure. keep. Uh, and I, I conned them in to let me keep my West Coast pay when sure. I'm south. Uh, so I was getting paid the most there. Uh, and then I worked for a like boutique coffee bar so that was both coffee and alcohol uh, for a while. And that was pretty cool. Um, hip, very hip. Very yeah, hip. very hip. Yeah, very hip. Man. Yeah, I know. Yeah. People, every time I made something, people would go like, yeah, you know. <laughs> were they really? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Well, every time someone tangents, we'll do that here. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. An all snaps I mean, episode, baby. This, this whole this this whole it's episode just, this whole time. It's just been like, snaps thus far. Right, fucking now. Um, so hey, we're a TTRPG podcast. Um, and uh, Jared Crater's here. Hey, Space Penguin Inc. Yes, that's uh, that's the name of our company. Um, yeah. We're named after that's a cat. Right. And, and I know that you don't like cats, but uh, maybe They're we can go fine. into that. In a, maybe we can go into that in a future episode of you yeah. know episode episode nine will be actually about cats. oh there we go all about our nine cats. We only have three. There we go. So yeah, how many cats do you have on her? Uh, I'm. I Wait, only I don't have care because right this now. is not cat chat. Whoa! So, uh, no, Man. Okay. Oh. sorry, that was mean. That's yeah. Funny. I hope we're not um, using all the comedy up in the first like five or ten minutes. Oh so, uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm spent. That was my load. Um, so what's so what's new? What do we got cooking? What's going um, on? What's new? What's new? Um, biggest uh, the biggest one that is uh, looming over uh, our heads uh, like doom in the night is uh, you thought I was going to say Karen and yeah. I'm going to say. Gary Khan. Uh, Gary Khan, uh, uh, I depart next uh, Wednesday and then return the following Tuesday. Um, and super duper, super duper, duper, super duper excited to take this little guy mm-hmm. with me. Uh, this is the, um, for those of you at home prototyping, this is the Game Crafter Medium Box. This is the Medium Box. Feel free to reach out to me if you're prototyping your board game. 
uh, with the Game Crafter, because we actually have one, we have Cutthroat Fruit Merchants uh, by David Torrey that's in the other room that was actually in the large box. And David was like, oh, no, no, this is the media box, I think. <laughs> and he said the magic words, I think. And I was like, cool. So we're, I'm going to order the medium box and get that. And it's going to be kind of big, right? And it's going to have this beautiful Doug Kovacs painting around the outside. Nope, I get the medium box and it is small. It is this size of, um, I'll show you the, the this. Oh, we got these two. We can talk about these. Um, A5 book for comparison. But currently oh, right nice. now, um it might stay at this size. Like I kind of like, and am in love with this a little bit. Um, I didn't print out a rules book. This is because the rules aren't done. This is a prototype, but we've got some markers. We've got some decks of cards. Um, I put some dice in here and whatnot. Um, anyway, there's boards. There's, there's little meeples. Um, it's a dudes on a map game. Uh, for those who don't know what dudes on a map, it means you put your little meeples and you roll dice and you move them around and then they interact with different stuff. I mean, that's that's my version of what dudes on a map is. I'm sure somebody on Reddit will get at me about it, right? Right, Hunter? Somebody oh, on Reddit. Well, no, absolutely. They're all, they're right. getting in the comments, right? Get in the comments, y'all. Right, exactly. I, I don't um, think anyone on Reddit even knows who we are. That's uh, probably very true. Wait. I'm you should remedy it. You should. I dare you to remedy no, that. Fuck that. <laughs> no, I'm good with that. I'm good without all of that. Um, but I'm taking um, <clears throat> taking Killer Wizard with me. So if anyone uh, watching or listening in or watching later uh, happens to see me at uh, Gary Con, I'm gonna have a big pink hat with a cat on it that says "Live in the Meow" uh, that came in this month's Cat Lady box that I will be wearing. So I'll be easy easy to spot. And um, if you want to sit down, I will love, would love to love to love to love to get in as many games as I can of this. Uh, it's two sided, so you can technically play two different games, although you can play both sides like A side and B side in an order. Um, a side is a hex crawl. You're traveling across the wastelands and picking up stuff. And then um, B side is, uh, is, a, is a tower crawl. It's a dungeon. Well, it's a tower. It's not a dungeon. It's a tower, Jared. Um, and it's super straightforward. You can play them separate from each other. There's rules to, you know, get your characters enough stuff to go um, on the back. So um, it's meant as um, a convention post, post con game, you know, after hours thing that you just kind of like pick up and play. Uh, each side is built to play in like 35 to 40 minutes. So um, it's kind of weighted heavily so that you lose. Kind of, you know, I like my board games like I like my RPGs, full of death and decay, <laughs> brutal uh, as hell, right? Like exactly. <laughs> um, but it's very, but it's very, um, it's very funny. Uh, it's very, it's very much lighthearted. Um, like in the pick that's been they sent floating around in our newsletter. Um, one of the things you can find is like dog-eared trucker mags. Uh, for those who don't know what a trucker mag is, it's semi-porno. There might be naked ladies in it. Um, and you know, one of the other things you can find, one of the other items that you can find in Kill the Wizard is rat nod diapers. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have just longed for a game where you can find an item called rat nod diapers, <laughs> we, we are the game for you. Yeah. So, um, so that's kind of, that's, 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 the, that's the new jam. Um, cool. Cool. Yep. Yep. Um, big news. Uh, Cairn uh, 2E box set goes to uh, live on the crowdfunding platform of people's choice, whether they want a choice or not. Kickstarter. Yay, uh, Kickstarter. On the 27th of uh, May? No, of March. God, I wish it was the 27th of May. Uh, this shit part of it would be over already. <laughs> um, well, I had a great call with Yohai this morning. And um, we've got it nailed down. We're getting our tiers locked in. What we want to do, it's going to be really basic. It's going to, some people are going to, I, I know a lot of folks going into this with a lot of expectations from a lot of other gun, game companies and just a lot of the way that Kickstarters have been built and done and stuff like that with a lot of extras and, yeah. and hooray and fluff and stuff like that. Like it's, 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 
going to maybe change people's minds a little bit about the way that we want to use it. Um, using crowdfunding, using things, you know, using platforms like that um, to essentially get pre-orders for your systems, your games, your books, or whatever. Um, it's a it's a thing that you do. It, mm -hmm. it works. It's a thing that, you know, initially back when I first came on the show, I was just like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I, I still don't want to do it, but <laughs> it's a, but it's a way to do it. It's, it's, it's part and parcel of the workflow of how things go. So um, it is the way we're going to do it, but we're going to bend it and we're going to twist it and tweak it to, to our way of doing things. Um, working with Yohai has been awesome. We have very, 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 very similar uh, constructs and, and, and way we think of things. Um, we want to hit, you know, a price point for affordability. Uh, we want to keep the fluff to a minimum. We want people to be very clear with what they're getting. We want the prizes to be really easy to understand. Um, we, we want, we just want it to be, you know, we want it to be like, we would want it to be like, go somewhere, press the button, give the money X amount of time things come up, you know? Um, yeah. One of the other cool things about doing it this way is, and, and really, really putting the squeeze on production team and, you know, thanks Adam. Thanks Derek. Thanks Yohai. Thanks Bruno. Uh, thanks, you know, Amanda and Brad and Zedek and everybody else, you know, who's doing all this work. We're okay. Everyone who's worked on this thus far, thank you for, you know, working so hard to get the thing ready so that it's ready to go when we go live, you know, as we're finishing the, the first section of the crowdfund campaign, the actual Kickstarter, the goal is to, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say fully what it is right now, because somebody's going to be like, I saw you on that show, on that video show, and you said it was going to be this. And I'm, <laughs> the goal is what we're pushing for is having a complete ready to go digital version of the product, whether that's the final polished one or not, but, you know, around the time that this this closes we'll be able to show you all these cool great covers all of these images um cool. we're well ahead of, we're well ahead of things uh on that we're well ahead of things on the production side i just got some really great videos from um uh, our printers three cats look at that there's more cats yeah, everywhere more cats. bring them it, all in here it is pretty <laughs> faded that we have three cats and that the printer who's handling this is three cats i'm just i gotta <laughs> say uh yeah. hat tip to justin series for uh introducing me to jenny ming and the gang at three cats they're awesome i just got some great videos today um from their warehouse they're preparing our white box sample for those who don't know what a white box sample is it's white and it's a box um it's essentially one of these things with all of the parts that go in it, but instead of having your really cool, pretty art and everything like that, everything is just white. And it's mainly meant so you can tell uh, and get a good feel for what the paperweight is, um, uh, how heavy the thing's going to weigh when, you know, so we can get accurate estimates on shipping. So people aren't like, oh my God, you said it was going to cost this. And then two months later, you're adding in more money because it's going to cost this. We're just like, we don't, we don't, we don't want to do that. And we don't want to also eat that cost uh, of it. You know, we want right. to get an accurate weight. So we know how much a thing is so that we can tell you how much a thing is that way the consumer, the end goal person can make the decision of whether they want to buy the thing or not you know, now, or if they want to try to get it later, you know, there is no if things, but you're going to buy it. I'm just kidding. Some people, and some people don't, I mean, I've got some stuff that I've got things on some Amazon wish lists that have been there for a decade plus, and they're, they're going to stay there, you know, looking at you, Ivan Bernetti's true porn, which is a, a bunch of great comic books, you know, comic strips by a bunch mm -hmm. of like, it, it's just been on there for years. And every time there's a, there's a reprint of it, like, I'm just like, I, I want to buy it, but then I don't buy it um am i freezing up no yeah it's a little bit okay. <laughs> i looked like i was freezing up and maybe i confused my camera no um, yeah you are definitely frozen so oh yeah. no i'm doing this aren't i and it's a good pose it. no it's a great like, pose right awesome. <laughs> yeah. okay so imagine me just doing that um imagine me just plugging him in my unplugging and plugging my camera back in and seeing if it starts nope it doesn't Man, I love when this happens. We'll just call you the ghost, the ghost of Jert for the rest of the episode. You yeah. Know? Um. Okay. Well, we'll see if it comes back on, won't we? Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, we did oh, it. Look at we, us. 
Well, we now, maybe did it. Now I'm going like this. <laughs> um, yeah. Really not quite sure, but it's, this uh, is a vastly superior pose. If I, if uh, we're for sure, 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 yeah. sure, sure, sure. It kind of looks um, like an oil painting too. This is like a, this uh, is one of those like accidental Renaissance things happening yeah. right now. This is like Ed, Edvard Munch's The Smile. Uh, mm. um, anyway, a white box sample of the Cairn box is coming in. It's on its way. Uh, so really cool. super stoked for that. Um, that actually will ship tomorrow, uh, and then that might be that might be traveling with me to GaryCon, so I can you know meet up with other game creator producer peoples and come to talk to them on that. So, um, Jared, yeah. about the uh, about the Kickstarter project, you said you guys are keeping it like simple. Can you reveal to us like what those tiers are kind of going to be and like what there is to expect from the project? Is it like just book only, like? Um, so, so there's going to be, um, look at that. I fixed it again. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to raise my hand. I'm just going to talk. The, the, you look the, AI generated right the, now. <laughs> um, so there will be, um, there'll be the $1 pledge that, you know, people can mm. act to follow along. And we're going to do the cool thing that we that I like to see and like to do, uh, and that'll get you backer pricing uh, in the BK pre-order store. Cool. Um, and then there will be a, a digital tier because there are digital things that are going with this. It's not just the the player's book. Um, there will be there'll be the warden's book. There's some adventures that you know stuff's going to be with it, um, and some other cool neat things. Um, and then there'll be the physical tier. Um, and the physical tier is going to be the box set. And that's kind of where we're leaning. Um, the re the reason that we're feeling pretty confident of going that way. Um, and again, this is all subject to change before we press that big red button or whatever color button it is, um, uh, on, um, the 27th, uh, is, we we you know we 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 can change things up until then so this is all grain of salt yeah um, but Karen lives Karen is alive you can right now get the player's guide mm -hmm. version of two e you can literally go to the Karen RPG website and 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 pull the SRD and if you wanted to you're allowed to assemble that in any fashion any way shape you want Yohai has kept Karen in print you know at cost on lulu for years now um and that's kind of the thing that we're talking about doing and it's like we we don't want to exclude anybody from getting these things physically but we want to run one crowdfund for this box set the goal of it of this whole thing is a digital version and a physical version of this box set as opposed to a digital version of the player's book and a physical version of the player's book and the warden's book and all these other little things, you know? Yeah. We're working as, as hard as we can to keep the cost low um, so that it will be more reasonable for someone to pick up and, and get the box set because we want people to, it, we want it to be a total package as well. You know, we want people to just be like, I am comfortable with spending X amount of dollars on this because it's got all of these things in it. We've built our stretch goals in to imp to make improvements on the items that go in that box. And that's what we want to do. We want to keep this as simple as possible. We can keep it one skew. Um, I don't want to give too much away. We we did some other talking this morning about some other things. Um, some Some, I don't know, there's some neat cover artists that are that are working on some stuff and some other um art that's going in but everything we do is is the goal is to make that digital version of the you know the package that you get at that time and the physical uh, that you get when you purchase the box set as the important thing people are going to be like now how come there's not an a la carte this 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 and this and it's like well we didn't say there's not an a la carte this there's always the future right there's always the future but space uh, here at space penguin we're we're a two-person show it's debbie and i right and she's mm -hmm. working a day job still part of the time so um we're trying to keep things as simple and neat and concise as we can so that 
we can do more stuff. You know, before we started, Hunter, you were joking that Jert is in a competition to see how many things Space Payman can publish. <laughs> you know, yeah, uh, and it's not not so much that it's 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 more building the supply lines. Um, this is a a big a big ask, I know, but to everybody watching and and listening and whatnot, um, if you have a friendly local game store that you go to, go to your friendly local game store and ask them, are you an ACD partner? ACD is a distribution partner. Uh, we sell products to ACD at a wholesale rate to distribution so that stores can buy them at a reasonable rate. And distro makes things so much easier. And but that's how you get to see cool things like at my local up here up the street, I remember the first time they had Morkborg there and I was just like, I worked on this book and they were just like, <laughs> what? And I walked up to the counter and I was like, that's my name. And he was like, hi, that's awesome. I was like, we just really like the cool or uh, yellow and black cover. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Johan's great. Blah, 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 and all this. And they were just like, you know, the creators. I was like, yeah, I just said I worked on it, <laughs> but it's, it's great. When, um, so anybody out there, if you can go to your friendly local game store and ask them if they're an, an ACD partner and, you know, and when, and they, the ACD has a catalog that comes out every month that goes to retailers called Meeple Monthly. And it's where people put in the new release. So the way that ACD works is it's four months ahead of time. I have to be soliciting product. We have to be telling folks, hi, uh, this thing, which we'll talk about our new releases. Look at this segue. And Amazing. Like, Such a clean, segue. natural segue. Just it's, almost like, it's almost like a segue. Agency. It's like a driven over a cliff. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I, I had to get it in there, there um, but it's a four month lead. It's, it's a 90 to a 120 day lead time on the cycle of getting things out there. So that's why a lot of my collaborators, our collaborators have just been lately. They've been like, wait, what? So we need, we need the cover and the interior, but we, we have X amount of time on the end, but you have to know the page count. And it's like, yeah, so I have to, you know, I have to have the cover. The, the completed cover. I have to have the in, interior as much as it is because that has to go to Die Sugars because Die writes all of our marketing copy. Thank you, Die. Um, and then I I, I say Space Penguins three people, but and I it, I just realized I was like it's not three people. There's it, Die is actually the secret heart of it because Die is the one who reminds me on a Monday that it's going to be okay. So um, thanks, Die. <laughs> um, but um, and, and so we you know, have to have that for marketing blurb. And then the once those are solicited in Meeple Monthly and those go out in that magazine, then um, the buyers there, uh, and Michael is our buyer there, uh, he's the head of the buyers, but he's our, our buyer for us too, can base based on title uh, and based on you know what line it's for and how many, um, he, and then, you know, previous trends, it's all, everything's a spreadsheet, y'all. Everything is looking at a bunch of numbers, but he can tell that, okay, cool. For Forbidden Psalm, he can order 30 or 40 copies total of the monthly, um, 30, 40 copies total of the monthly, pretty much if they're buying those on every month and, and these stores are because we're building an avid fan base by having people go into the store and play the games and stuff like that. Um, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy or it's a fulfilling prophecy, I guess. I don't know. It's not self-fulfilling because I'm not there. I'm not there being like, you will buy this. And then they buy that, you know, when, and anyway, um, go to your local game store, ask them to purchase your favorite games, ask them, have you ever heard of Space Penguin Inc.? All you all you got to do is just and and just be like, yeah, it's this it's this one guy, and it's this it's this one this this other guy, and this chick, and these people, and you know, um, the more that those stores are interested and intrigued and want to pick up stuff that way, um, the more that ACD then can, you know sanction buying and then the more that they can buy from us and then it just means the more cool stuff that we can put out faster so you know staying on that 120 day cycle so <laughs> no rest only work mm -hmm. there you go well i mean we've talked well so i wrote a note so we'll go back um and then i'll hit the let me write down what i was going to say so we don't forget this too 
Um, I had, uh, I'll see if I can read that later. Uh, the A5 medium box for Kill the Wizard. Love that size. It looks like it'll fit right on the re the shelf with the rest of your books. Um, was that a thought at all, or did you just go for medium on that now because that's what fit this current stuff? Um, so, um, yeah, we can just talk about this board game forever. I love it. It's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Um, so we went with medium because, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm misunderstood. You know, David, David, Tory thought that it was the, um, it was the, the media, the box that he's got that he has for um, cutthroat fruit merchants, also coming in the future from Space Penguin, um, or with Space Penguin, was the medium, and so I went with the medium. Um, as is, it's the. Let me, let me just flip it upside down and see if I can. Oh, come on. I can show you the board. Uh, and the and the reason I went with this is because on the Game Crafter, which is where we got these uh, um, this prototype done, they have this medium size folding board, which is a six fold. Well, it's it's technically one, two, three folds, but it's a six panel board, right? Whoa. So this is oh, the back. This is sick. this is this is cool. Raxel's tower, right? Um so this folds down nice, nice and tight to fit inside this box. So that's the reason that it's kind of sized that way. Now you'll notice that on the board that there are, um, I, I mean, part of me kind of wants to leave it where it just says kill the wizard in that blue, pro kill the wizard prototype. And the people get this and they're like, wait, it says prototype. Yeah, I know. We just thought it was funny because you know me. Um, but I, I had I Eric Hill, uh, who did yeah. the help me with the layout of the board and everything like that, um, put these slots over here for the cards. Um, by the way, this uh, illustration is by Tiger Wizard uh, over at Epic Levels. So podcast Ooh. fight, podcast fight, podcast fight. One of these days, I'm going to get all my podcast friends together, and we're going to have a have a when you're a jet, you're a jet moment. Um, so I hope that explained uh, roundabout um, why uh, the board is shaped that way, uh, or the box is shaped that way. Yeah. Here's the here's the here's the front side of it. Wow, that looks very dope. There's, there's slots at the on, on the bottom for where all the cards go. So yeah. If you're listening, go to YouTube and watch this because yeah. you should see this board. That is super <laughs> We're cool. We're not doing great descriptors today. So. Um, yeah. No, it's a board. Go go, go to subscribe to our YouTube. Um, it's a board, right? It's, it's a, it's a yeah. thing. Just come on. Go look at numbers. it. Go to the YouTube and look at it. That's and really, I mean. There's the character cards. These are the six characters you play. These are our characters from uh, the Warlands game that uh, the the greatest DM that I've ever played with, uh, Wayne Snyder. And I know he's not listening to this, but I get I get to see him next week. Uh, Wayne Wayne is um, him head skeleton dog on Tumblr. Uh, yeah, no, trust me, it's good. Um, Wayne also uh, builds the Ziggurat and the gong and is the owner of the wizard van um if you've ever gone to a con and seen the dcc booth and stuff like that wayne wayne is the person who designs and builds all of those massive structures uh that goodman games uses so um anyway wayne wayne ran a game called warlands which was he let us he told us later was just running riffs in dcc and we're just like it makes sense now but it, it was a campaign that ran for like two years uh 18 months something like that it was really great really weird and then this was the this was like the the redux campaign after we most of us had died the first time around this was a this was a second set of characters that we played uh and so and then i made a new robot character because i wanted a robot character for this game because who doesn't love a good robot so a lot of this is inspired by that game and a lot of it just are all irreverent sense of humor you know growing up in the late 70s early throughout the 80s and just i don't know dumb tv dumb cartoons like we we had that we had the best we had i had the best parents uh, mm -hmm. It's called ABC Story Break and CBS Story Break and the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon and shit like that. That's where most of our education came from. So, 
Yeah, I definitely think Dungeons uh, and Dragons shows... cartoon. Kid shows Wait, you've never seen it? Off. Is never this is where Dungeons and Dragons cartoon? Hunt, Hunter. Oh I'm my not. god. I'm sorry. Oh, wow. The Dungeons. Okay, well, I will send you the link later. There's. They're all on the YouTube's, and you can I'll, just watch. watch you can watch them day. all in a while. And on there's 17 episodes. Um, is it 17 episodes? 17 episodes in the first season. It yeah. was it was short lived, a couple seasons. So, mm. um, yeah. good show, good show. I yeah, I enjoy it's it. It's it's my bath time show. Like I take I I I take the iPad in and I soak in the tub and I nice. watch the Dungeons and Dragons cartoon. You've, damn, I want a tub to soak in. I have a stand-up shower, buddy. I don't have any tub in my I, bathroom. What you do with that, I can totally hack that for you, is you just tape it, and then you, <laughs> and you crawl in the top, or you cut a hole in your ceiling, and you do No, I mean, you can there do you it. There you go. You You're right. That's a this. really, really good idea. I'm sure I'll get my uh, my deposit back after taking that action. Yeah, so. you absolutely should. I can't oh, believe you haven't seen hack. the Dungeons & Dragons cartoon. They even put... I didn't hate the Dungeons & Dragons movie, um, and they, even, they have a nod to them in that, too, so that was neat. But I guarantee if you yep. look up the dungeon master from the cartoon, you've seen that little fucker before. Um, gosh. Uh, when, what's the thoughts? So you're playtesting and prototyping uh, the board game right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you have a, a hopeful timeline for when people not at cons might get a chance to take a peek at that? Or? Oh, man. Um, sometime next year, 2025. Fingers, fingers crossed. Um one thing that I want to do with uh, Kill the Wizard is I want a print and play version at home. So um, everything is going to eventually get sized down to where folks can. Uh, and there were, and the other thing too I want to do with it too is and being lucky enough to work with David Torrey um, at um, at uh, Tastefully Done Games with cutthroat fruit merchants as david knows his way uh, around tabletop simulator so a thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a package on tabletop simulator on steam for those folks who have that so that you can actually play this on there um we're going to have a print and play version um it's just it's one of those like it's always been that way like i've I, i've i've sculpted the game out of pro you know cutting little pieces and printing off a bunch of blank cards and handwriting them and then actually being like oh why did i do that why didn't i just type them in there oh duh and then having them so people don't have to read my shit my chicken scratch um handwriting um but little tokens um and uh yeah i mean you can play it if you have if you have a board game then you have a mover you have a you have a you have a meeple or you have if you have a monopoly you can be top hat guy right and you can use the top hat in the place of tad the halfling you know or you can use the shoe in place of jj janet skaya like you if you've got tokens that's that's the that's the the thing is making your own fun is something i'm not scared of i've always had to be the entertainer for my younger siblings growing up Right. You know, and then going on and like teaching music classes and stuff like that, like at summer camps uh, and just other things and always being able to hack and do something fun and, and wild and crafty with whatever you have at home. So that's the, the what we want to do with Kill the Wizard is we want everything to be able to be on a five or eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. And they're going to be they're going to be a version for a a size printer folks and the one for the u.s size printer folks to where you can get that map you can print out those four pages of the map and then you can put them together and you can tape them together and that's your map you know you might have to trim a little bit but you put those together and that's your map awesome cool great we've got we've got the map and then you you know like there's like monsters there's obelisks there's items there's strange occurrences and there's um time tracker and yes inadvertently it spells moist and everyone everyone's like your token spill more. i'm like well it wasn't on purpose for once i didn't do i didn't do a good joke on purpose but um <laughs> you just need little tokens you know what i'm saying and you can use anything you we can do little scraps of paper you need some dice oh no um and then you need something to simulate the cards so we'll have print and play so you can cut those cards out and if you've ever made Ooh. a magic the gathering proxy you can just literally cut those out slide them in with a magic common or a star wars ccg common or best game ever um and then you can 
print off your copy of the rules. The combat's really great. It, it involves combat matrices because it's a throwback to you know the mm -hmm. vamp, the TSR era uh, pocket game. I don't remember if anybody remembers those, but the, there's a game called Vampire. It's got a really great Arrow Lotus cover on it. I'm actually taking that's the one time I think I might actually be like, Hey, Errol, will you sign this? Um, I usually don't have people sign stuff, but now that I've actually managed to get to this point with the, with this game, I'm going to see if I can get Errol to sign my my copy of Vampire because that would be something. This is one of the first things I bought when I started playing games when I was a kid. When I was like eight years old. Um. So um, yeah. Is this still the same copy play version? Uh, no, I wish. I totally wish. I mean, that would be really cool. But no, unfortunately, uh, when we were younger, the we we experienced a uh, house fire. So uh, wow. yeah, you know those. Um, I think it's not Galonks, but it, it's um, uh, the uh, Ballantine Adult Fantasy. Remember the, the one with the unicorn and the hmm. circle, right? Like the Lynn Lynn Carter was the editor of the was the line editor, like in the seventies. Anyway, we had um, all of the Tolkien. Uh, and they were in like a slip case, or like a like a paper slip case, torched, torched. Oh well, Ooh. so we don't have anything. We don't have anything cool from that era. But I, I I have since got it again and played it a lot. And I love oh, yeah. I love that vampire game. So yeah, Kill the Wizard is a, is a combination of TSR's Vampire Hero Quest, uh, the Jaws game that was created by Prospero Hall, published by Ravensburger from 2019, uh, and uh, Talisman. So it's literally parts of my four of my favorite games, um, just mind numbed all the way down. So you can play it at a convention, exhausted as fuck, like at the end, at the end of the day, at the end of the <laughs> night, you know, it's like it's like nine or ten at night, eleven o'clock at night where half the people are smashed, you know, and half the people are just like, what is this person on about? Uh like we're we're trying to make a we're we're working on a low as as a former and then sometimes still current lowest common denominator. Um, we we worked we're we're working on making this usable by the lowest common denominator. So there you go. I'll have a great time well, with it then. <laughs> once once you get on a tabletop simulator, you'll have to come on and uh, maybe maybe uh, maybe we can do, do some demos. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That'd be fantastic. Definitely a plan. Um, as you can see from the board, there's a lot of it. Like Tiger Wizard has not had full time to do inks on all of the things because we're at the stage now where um, he and um, David Hoskins, uh, who's also and and uh, Andrew and David are doing the interior art uh, for the cards and stuff like that. Um, and then my friend Odysseus Jones is doing some spot art for that's going to be in the rule book. Um, he was like. The, just from what you're saying, it's kind of it, that picture looks like it's kind of like Ralph Bakshi's wizards. And I was like, you mean Von Bodie's wizards? But OK, um, Ralph Bakshi ripped off Bodie. Sorry, I'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, you guys hey, like, calm down in the comments, please. Like, please like, what, down. Is he, what is he fucking talking about? I don't know. He's having <laughs> a conversation with himself. Um, anyway uh amazingly classic jerk moment right it's like oh, we're all like yeah dude whatever yeah Odys I mean, odysseus is yeah right it, it is yeah. it is good um odysseus yeah. is doing some sure. uh some spot art for um the, the rule book but as you can tell from the from the board you can still see the pencil marks like nothing's nothing's ink and those those colors are not final that's those colors are, are all eric hill being like um do these need colors on the backs? Do they need a common back? And I'm like, oh yeah, they do. And so he went with, you know, uh, there's a lot of blue in the sky on Doug's cover painting. And there's a lot of pink, you know, in the highlights and accents. So Eric extracted those and used those as the color picker for a lot of that stuff like that. Um, uh, Roke, Roke said that looks like 70s porn. And we're just like, we won, we won. Perfect. It wasn't yeah. intentional. That's what we won. Um, so yeah, so that um, and also like I can't wait for Doug to see this and he'd be like, "Wow, they really fucked up the colors on my painting." I'm gonna be like, "It's it's a prototype. It's a it's a prototype, Doug." Look, it says along the side, <laughs> exactly, uh, and on the board and um, everything, and it's gonna stay right. There. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, anyway, still a work in progress. We're still we're still ways out from that, but yeah, getting a getting a version built up and working in. Um, TTS sometime 
before the end of 2023 what year 2024 uh is a goal so we can start having you know people just have access to it and playing it and stuff like that because it's a i don't know i'm interested to see how it does when it meets the public next weekend you know um i'm hoping it's not as bad as i think it is gonna be where people are just like thou that's dog shit you should just start all over i'm gonna be like i won i won D D." um there you go yeah how did we get back on the board game? We were talking about Karen, and we got well, back on the because board Ryan well, asked. We, you went through like three topics, so I just wrote notes as we went, and as soon as you took a <laughs> breath, I jumped in and asked a question. <laughs> that's that's how we got back. Because now we're back to Karen. Um, I so we've talked about this. I think the last two times you were on the show, where um, really it seems like post pandemic, with the prices of everything and everything going off, that Kickstarter at least a lot of the bigger projects you see on Kickstarter that, you know, besides one that have like three famous people's name attached to it. Cause they wrote one word in it. Um, a lot of people are calming down on putting too much shit in their Kickstarter, like adding on yeah. three sets of dice and blah, blah, blah. And you see a lot of those like not doing as well. I feel, um, plus just the simplification of getting it all. You're already doing a box set with Karen. Um, I think we said before you're not put dice in this, are you? We're not. Um, that was a yeah. that was a choice that was made very early on when Yohai and I started talking last year uh, about this. Um, uh, he was, you know, he was just like, "What about dice?" And or maybe I said, "What about dice?" And I'm just like, I look at it from a from a component structure. Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, if we go with one printer and they handle all they handle the you know we have one printer that's handling the box and handling the book build and handling the 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 other items in there you know i don't want to say too much about what they are most like people can probably figure out what's going into an rpg box set but um they're they're easy it's easy to handle there now can that place source this other item Yes, can that place source that other item and probably put that in there when they're doing the pack build? Yes, probably. Can this other place, can I order them from someplace else and can I have them shipped here? And then can they be packed into a box and shipped separately? Do you know, do I want to piss off my partner? Do I want Debbie to be mad at me? Not really. You know, like does she, you know, I, we want to, we want minimal skews for this. You know, that's why we're hoping that everything comes in a box and like we're going to get it shrink wrapped and there's going to be one SKU and, and one ISBN on the back of that so that it just streamlines our entire thing. If people want to buy two copies of the, of the thing, they can buy two copies of the thing. I'm not going to stop anybody from doing that, but you know, we're, we're not really doing like a la carte versions of, of stuff like that. Like it's just, we're really just focusing on the box set. That's why it even says on the Kickstarter, it says Karen two E boxed set. It's it's, that's literally what you get. You're not getting, you know, it's different if someone puts title of project and then involved in that is there is a, a tier where you get a box set or the, where you can get just the books, ma'am, you know, and just the in, in individual stuff like that. That's that's separate. We just literally have advertised this as the box set because that's what we that's that's what Yohai wants and that's what we want is like one skew. Make it simple. That's what we pack, and that kind of goes out from there, you know. Um, just I don't know. So yeah, so dice have never dice were like kicked out right off, um, and dice haven't really entered in. I have a lot of lot of dice. Like I have this whole tray of dice, the pieces right here. Like these these dice have been built and like collected over. I've got dice going back probably 15 years, mm. even when I wasn't playing RPGs, when I was, you know, to, I, I still have some random dice here and there and like these spell burn luck tokens and stuff like that from, you know, seven, eight years ago, random stuff like that. So this is one of the grossest ones I have. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a muscle or a bone D20, but mm, it's not actually nice. made of bone. It's a, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, we all have a lot of dice at this point. I feel like we, feel like we, we do can all agree. And and I feel like that's not to say that at some point Space Penguin won't make a dice set. Yeah, because we might want to make a dice set. Here, I'll tell you one hundred percent truthfully what I want to do 
is I want to achieve, I want to achieve the Armory D30. Uh, and I know I, I want, I hope Thrift is, is watching this. I don't have the comments up, but I know she is. And I know she's, she's right there with me. Sharp edged, not even sharp, but just flat, you know, precision D30s. You just, you just don't get them that, 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 that aren't mm -hmm. metal, you know, you can get them in metal and you can get stuff like that. Just aren't the armory D30. They just, they just don't make them. The, the molds don't exist. And that is a thing that at some point, someday, that's one of my dreams is to find that. So that's when space penguin will do a dice set is yeah. when we, when we can do that, but that's going to be, you know, it probably won't even be a set. It's probably just going to be the D30 because I like the Zaki game science, you know, precision dice. I like, you know, yeah. the rest of those, like those are, I don't know. Anyway, I love dice. I don't, didn't feel yeah. like putting them into this box set. So. You know, I, fair. the thing that you said is the thing that always pops on my head with a lot of these box sets. It's like, if you if you put 18 different things from 18 different companies, someone has to put that shit all together. And that feels like such a pain in the ass and yeah. such an extra added cost that it's just mm -hmm. I would rather have the book six weeks sooner than wait for you to put fucking dice in because I have enough goddamn dice. You know, I think my thing is just, yeah, it's like there's so many projects that have had so many maybe not specifically dice, but so many different things added into them. Um, and it's just like. Yeah, just waiting for that manufacturer to get that part in and like these Kickstarter updates that keep like pushing it off further and further. I'm like, ah, oh, dude, I just don't even care about that thing. I just want the book, you know? Yeah. So uh, on it right now we're with Forbidden Song, with the the end times Kickstarter, we're we're within our range. We're gonna hit these are gonna pack and ship in April. Like we said, they're gonna be in your hands in May. Like we said, that's our goal. But right now, I know Will and I are every week, we're just like on our Tuesday meetings, we're just like, nothing new to report. No, I mean, we do have <laughs> new stuff to report. We're friends and we talk about life and, and other stuff like that. And there then there are things moving down the line, you know, endless horrors and some other stuff like that, you know, uh forbidden some hero supers next year. I'm excited for that one, you know. Um I'm excited for all of the things for Ben Som, actually. Uh, <laughs> there's a ton of them. But right now we're waiting on um, the tokens and the maps from our friends at Formax in St. Louis. New, new, Not a new printer, but a new-to-us printer that I discovered that can do tokens and large-scale fold-out maps like we wanted that will fit cool that we need for the games. You know, and those were like stretch goals with that. And are we going to do... Tokens and maps for future Forbidden Song Kickstarters, you damn right. Why? Because we've done it now and we figured it out. Yeah. But unfortunately, we've these books have been sitting. Look at this. I'm going to show you. These books have been sitting in Space Penguin headquarters for two weeks. The collection of death has been sitting here. The end times, the soft cover. Here's the the hard covers even finally arrived from the UK the other day, and boy, they smell good. Ah, I'm a book sniffer. I was, I was, I wasn't a book sniffer for the longest time. No, uh, I, whatever. It's a shout out to the book sniffers on the Necropolis. You know who you are. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so these things, these things have been in the Warband book, your roster book, right? Mm -hmm. They've been in. They've they've been in cool. um, for a couple of weeks now, and they're just kind of sitting here, and we're we're like kind of like, wow, we really have to wait. For those other three things. Oh, now I look now I look chagrined. I froze up and I look chagrined, don't I? Yeah. Yeah. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. Okay. You do the thing um, with the camera again. Oh, 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 for those listening, none of this matters to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. We go. Um but uh, so, so question, the real the real question that everyone listening is gonna want to know the answer to. Was there any argument over box set versus boxed set? Oh, you know, uh, I always say boxed set. Oh man, look at my now this this camera. I swear, I tell oh, you. Oh, this what. is better. Actually, this is like this oh, is this is a marked improvement. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, did the poll? What had the poll resolve? Uh box. Box B O X or B O X E D. B O X. 
Yeah. Wow. So it's a box set. No, because a box set is a set of boxes, y'all. Duh. Mm. This is a boxed set. That means it is a set in a box. Is that from the Reddit? Is that from Reddit? No, we no, ran big. a poll in in chat right now. Um, right. Yeah, the two pe the two people that voted just said BOX, um, and I was one of them. Uh, and so, I was uh, <laughs> woo, look at us. So, so we we say box. Um, thanks, chat. Thanks for the, thanks yeah. for participation. Appreciate that out there, you guys. Uh, but um, gosh, also so uh, for those that can see the stream, we are running this beautiful slideshow above me and extra dirt. That's got two of the covers for Cairn uh, from Bruno Perseco, as well as a couple art pieces from uh, Rock Romero. Um, gosh, those covers are beautiful. Uh, Bruno does some amazing work. Yep. Yep. Um, and are there is are is it just Bruno and Ro are you allowed to say like who what all art else is happening in them? Um, I think that Yohai has let it slip. Um, that or, or shared it. Uh, um. I mean, I'm gonna say that. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't without checking. Uh, and I know that he's uh, he's was busy doing childcare uh, this afternoon. So uh, I'm not. W all will be revealed on March 27th. You know. Um, bah, bah. Speak, speaking of voiceover, voiceover, can we tangent and say that did did you did you all see Dunk Part Two? Look, the word the sandworms back there. Did you did you see Donk Part not Two? I've seen Donk Part Two yet. No. I have not either. No. Did you get the uh the old popcorn right bucket? The popcorn. Uh, you want to see? Oh, it? Okay. I see it now. No, it blended in, but now I definitely see the hole there. Um. Oh, look at look that. At this. That's the uh, official Dune sex toy. Yeah. You know, you know. I mean, you can check it out. You can put your whole arm in there. You can just fist, you can just fist right into there. Huh? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Oh man! Although no, I, we're gosh. we're gonna go see it, I think uh, this coming week, though. So yeah. For those listening, uh, don't watch this part. Um, yeah, don't, don't watch this part. No, I, 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 I don't go. I don't see other human beings if I don't have to. So I will see it when it comes to uh, my home. It'd be, it'll be on max um yeah no it was yeah. funny the the premiere weekend uh i've i've been fascinated by this i've yeah. just been fascinated by this as have a lot of people yeah. um yeah. this I mean, just as a as a as an art piece or just mm -hmm. as a thing it fits in with a lot of the other random ridiculous shit that's in this office um Absolutely. and i i had to get one and um Bolt neck, uh, bolt neck opossum, uh, who's watching this? Hi, uh, was going out uh, with his wife to watch it, and they didn't have any uh, yeah. when he went to watch it. So I was just like, I, I said, Debbie, I said, can we go see Dunk Part Two? And she was like, I haven't watched Dunk Part One. And she says Dune, but I don't know. Is it really? Is it called Dune? It looks like Dunk. I think it's me. called Dunk. I think you're. I yeah. think you're pronouncing it right. Yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure Frank Herbert really meant it to be Dunk. Yeah. Yeah. It's Dunk. I mean, it's uh, Dunk Messiah, the Children of Dunk, God Emperor of Dunk. You know? Right. Yeah. 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 Speaking yeah. of Dunks, I want some Dunks. Um, like anyway, the shoes. Um, uh, no, so no, 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 no. I, like, I uh, mean, here's the thing. Awesome. Whoever said yes to that fucking bucket absolutely knew what they were doing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And there's definitely people that went to go see that movie just to get that weird. Sex toy, hundred percent. Yeah, I did. Um, I did, yeah. uh, and I also got bolt nickel possum one. It's sitting over there. Sorry, it's still it's in a, it's in the box. It'll it'll be packed. I promise. I'll get it out this weekend. Wow! Um, look at you, great brand. Uh, boom. Yeah. So, um, anyway, yeah, dunk dunk sex toys. Weird weird manufacturing stuff. But I I will tell you this. This is like it, it's a it's a it's a two part. Uh oh, it's got sticker stuff on it now. Um. It's got sticky stuff on it. It's a two part. There's like screws in it. So, you know, uh -huh. you had to have someone like assemble this and machine possibly could have done it, but it could have been a human. Um, and then these key they came out. So speaking of assembly, going back to dice, 
You know, like somebody along the line was like, it's three pieces. And someone's like, well, we can't do it in two pieces and get the sculpt right. You know, and right. that's kind of how I feel about that. With, like with with throwing stuff like dice in there, um, you know, like it's just, you know, it's kind of extra. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I like that it. Was like, but... That was easily one of our best tangents so far, just for the record. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, for... we, because so... we brought it back around. To... You, yeah. we, exactly. It was, that's why yeah. it's so amazing. Expect the SPI sex toy sometime in 2026. <laughs> um, wow. 2025. Like Q, oh. Q, I'll put a date on it. Q4 2025. There you go. Um, ACDC. Your 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 local uh, game uh, store. ACD <laughs> ACD distribution ACDD ACD distribution. I thought it was ADC. Uh, I thought AC. it was ACD. A- See, I know what I'm saying. ACDC. Um. So did a- hey, did you ever get your your copy? Uh, the Scott the the beautiful SPI information in it. No, funny story. Uh, the issue that last month's issue that would have had our first yeah. uh, us for the first time in there. Um, I've got the magazine before because when I worked at EF, I would get it and to see how it matched it. You know, um, Kristen had copies sent to me, and so we've had it. The first month that we would have been listed in there, you'll love this. The other day, it arrives just the cover. That's what you the said. Gut, yeah. The the yep. Perfect. To, no just guts. to cover. So you gotta you gotta call them up and say, listen, that's, that's we I gotta <laughs> pin that on the wall. That's like our first dollar bill kind of, but like of distro. Um, um it's funny. Oh, that's okay. Uh there'll be another one that'll come uh next month. So um uh, or this month, I guess. It, it could even be in the mailbox, like right on the other side of that wall right now. So Yeah. Uh, oh. The other thing is, I know we've talked about this before, even but when you were on the show prior to it now being called Not Cat Chats and this, our, our, our now recurring show. Um, from when Space Penguin started to now, is as far as specifically the growth into distro and, and everything and getting into uh, friendly local game stores and Kickstarter and everything are you about where you thought you would be or are you a little ahead a little behind i know you were talking about not doing kickstarter for quite a while but then you know obviously karen tui um is is you know big a big get yo hi is great um uh, how do you feel about uh those kind of like goals you were trying to check off um text in the boss lady that uh, I won't have dinner ready. She's gonna fire me. Um, so you're asking overall, do I feel like like where do I feel like we're at? Like when we started, and then like where you know how how it started, how, how it's going, that sort yeah, of thing. Like, are you yeah, um, expected to be or or sure? Um, yeah. Uh, so I feel that um, way, kids. Kids, get out your projection sheets. Learn, learn, learn how to do projections, and 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 learn. Ask around, uh, and pick up all of, of the little stuff that you think you might forget. Um, <clears throat> little things like just e- expenses is one of the biggest things. Um, I've learned to and and incurred a lot of really small little expenses like subscription type stuff, and we all have those in our lives. But imagine like all the ones you have in your life you'll also need similar ones or in some way, shape or form other things like that for, for a business. So there's a lot of little stuff like that. That's kind of um, topped up and added in. Um, Things move a lot slower than one would think, Uh, especially when you're like me and ADHD riddled and you're just kind of like, you can bounce, bounce, bounce to other stuff. The rest of the real world doesn't bounce, bounce, bounce as, as fast as you can. Um, some people do take more than 48 hours to respond to emails. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Um, but sometimes people do take longer than a couple of days to respond to email. And you just have to kind of learn to like get used to that. Stuff does, it, you know, stuff does move a little bit slower. There are a lot more steps. And even I have found myself 
starting to gauge more and put more uh, of a distance because it's initially you're just like, cool, work with somebody, edit a thing, help design thing, you know, get it laid out, whatever, write a thing, pay the money, print the book, sell the book. And that's, that's, that's cool. But now imagine you're doing that for four and five and six and seven and eight, nine and 10 and 20 things, all in various ways, shapes and forms, all with various creative teams that, you know, as someone who's a, a, a mental, a mental, mentally awesome over here, um, uh-huh, you uh-huh. know, some, some teams like you just imagine a bunch of, you know, much folks with, with the same situation going on, like, and we're all working on trying to get this thing done and to the best of our ability, but just, just life and existence and, and in general, you know, like um, everybody comes to things uh, at, at different times. Sorry. I was, that might've been UPS. There's, we might get lucky and some of the new releases for April might arrive during this call. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, There's everything's supposed to arrive within the hour. So we'll see. Um, um, so I do, I think overall um, it's kind of a wash uh, of where we've, where I feel we're at um, as far as I feel like most stuff is good with how we're doing um some things are better some things are worse i guess not worse but just some things aren't as far along and some things are farther along um but yeah uh, we're uh, we will be one year old officially for business in july right wow july so Damn. we're still we've still got a we've still got a couple of months here before we're before it's quite hitting that one year mark um and to be on the edge of our yes we you know we partnered with will with the forbidden psalm one but that wasn't will's first rodeo and that also wasn't you know jarrett's first rodeo working with will on a project so that one karen is going to be our first big crowd fund um we got board game prototypes um figuring out how, how to get things in line to work with distribution and, and figuring out how to do that as part of that chain's going, um, handling a bunch of fulfillment projects for other creators and things like that. Like that has been super fun and super exciting to get to see stuff that I backed that yes, Sam Sorensen is my friend, uh, but, and I have edited his works before and it was great. Like, you know, like I first met Sam when Sam was just like, he interviewed Fiona and I about our editing process. And I was just like, that's weird. You know, like he was like working on a paper or something, you know? Uh, and then I ended up editing a thing for him and then he's written. So anyway, I backed Seas of Sand and then like the thing, like a lot of the things that I back, I kind of just back and then just like forget that they're that they're there just because out of out of sight out of mind um but to get to to get to help sam bring those things to fruition you know to get the map printed and the worm printed and the really nice super awesome hardcover book printed and then to help him get that like fulfilled like you know to 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 build and run a bk pre-order store and fulfilled and run and then you know sending out like 300 400 packages a couple of weeks ago like a week and a half back you know like that's awesome to be able to track and oh, oh no oh we lost the audio this time too jert jert watch those packages while you're working with a new shipping service oh oh i'm we still go. here you're back oh, yeah i'm back so yeah no i never i never at... left I never well, left. You left for us. You were you Don't were cry ah! for me, Ryan Tina. <laughs> um I, I only know that were... song because of Madonna, just truthfully. Mm-hmm, gotcha. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I think we lost you <laughs> audio wise, uh talking about um uh, getting to work with Sam like post BK store setup and everything. Oh, no, just very still. All right. So for those listening, we are in and out of freezes. So um, when Jerk gets back, I think we're going to talk about some of the releases coming out. Um, 
And uh, besides what we've talked about already, which is Cairn uh, box set coming uh, at the end of the month, um, as well as uh, Gary Khan and the um, board game prototypes. So um, do we want to uh, hit a, a BRB and get yeah, back? Yeah, let's hit a little mini Hey, we're back. Um, we emerge yes. from the darkness. Woo, Jared's moving. Um, yeah, I feel like every time that I see a Kickstarter now that I'm like, ooh, this one's really cool, I scroll down and I see Space Penguin Inc. distribution, and it's like their fulfillment you know, partner and everything. Mm-hmm. So, I yeah. mean, on top of you know being around for less than a year at this point, the number of things that, that SPI has put out this big Kickstarter coming up to kind of like round out the year ish, um, April, April, May, June, July. Well, kind of. I mean, that's like Q three, really. Um, and then um, as well as doing all this distribution for number of products down in um, uh, uh No, don't freeze again, dirt. I'm I'm still uh, here. We're here. Let's talk about the other projects that are coming out. Um, the the new other releases we got Resonant, um, and we got at the Mutants of Madness. Just in case we do lose you, we want to make sure we cover those. So talk sure. about those. Okay, uh, let's talk about at the Mutants of Madness. Clearly, a uh, a, a smidge of a Lovecraft reference there. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, written by my, uh, it's, now it's telling me my internet connection is unstable. Do you think? <laughs> um, Aren't we all? It's, right? Um, uh, so Add the Mutants of Madness is uh, Forrest Aguirre's, um, it's what, I think we said it's aimed at 7th? It's not, a, it's not a funnel. What a, I don't know. I'm I'm looking up what this actually so secret i never look at projected um party composition when it comes to modules i always run everything as uh whatever level you want to bring it in so um (laughs) i just ignore the the guidelines yeah 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 yeah. i mean it's just it's just that's way more fun uh to do okay at mom digital uh here we go at mom digital uh it is a um yeah it's four to six seventh level pc so that's kind of where it's scaled at like all of the numbers are like way up there and way mm-hmm. high and stuff like that but you can get this you can run it as a funnel if you want to it's totally cool you can have you know you can bring 10 or 15 along like savvy play you know like level level schmevel like whatever um and uh yeah obviously as you know uh, a reference to um at the uh, at the mountains of madness and uh it's an mcc when i don't give too much away but um i mean as the cover shows you know there great brad mcdevitt mm-hmm. cover too um Ba-da-da. Uh, too much play testers um it's it it's there's a it, there's it's part hex crawl and then there's a really 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 intense puzzle um forest has uh ran really 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 kind of hone in and dial in how one actually does um the uh puzzle at the end uh we rearranged that a little bit. Um, I'm taking copies of it with me to Gary Khan, so uh, uh, so he and I can discuss it. You know, it, um, uh, in your local brick and mortar retail store uh, in April as well. Um, but Joseph uh, asked the other day, he was like, "Oh, do you think you can hand deliver those at Gary Khan? We can put them in as the new release, so they might be available uh, if I can fit them into my luggage." Um, I guess I could. <laughs> I could I could take another suitcase. I don't know. I could take it. We'll, One we'll, suitcase we'll, just for games. Right. Exactly. Uh, no secret. Yeah. 
Uh, <laughs> seriously, I don't. Why I, they they always ask me to because Tom picks me up and like I always have like this big art. It's Debbie's big R two D two suitcase and like it's so heavy. It's we we hit it right to the fifty pound limit uh, with just. classics which is also you can run it with dcc you can run it with just about anything um it would probably run super cool with mutant year zero if anybody uses the year zero engine uh which i i do love the year zero playbooks not playbooks the modules the the setups for those are good too um lots of good weird uh dead things and unalive things uh, uh and stuff like that so i don't want to give too much of the module away the our, our volumes are slim, but um, yeah, I think people are going to like that one. Fun. The cover looks sick. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. um, and another Mothership module coming out. I think you guys have done, yeah. I mean, obviously Forbidden Tom the most, but Mothership probably the second mm -hmm. at this point. And this one from Amanda yeah. P and uh, Tony Tran. So what is, what is Resonant? Yeah. Um, so Resonant is, um, uh, people are going to be like, oh, that's really similar to Another Bug Hunt. Uh, I was like, well, as the editor on Another Bug Hunt, I can assure you that the two writers, Sean McCoy and, you know, Alan, uh, Luke and et cetera, who else, all the, all the folks who helped write Tyler, who helped write Bug Hunt don't know Amanda other than, you know, possibly, you know, Sean knows them on Twitter. Uh, and, but it's get this there's bugs in both of them oh oh wow uh and um i think there's space they can't both too, have right? bugs i'm sorry yeah there's space i know too <laughs> um the um so resonant um it's kind of uh the players the the crew get a message and it's kind of like they can either work on the side of the company or they can work on the side of the settlers um but they go to this planet and um there's some experiments and whatnot that have happened there um and amanda's bugs and resonant deal with sound uh and what they actually do with you to uh like and the concepts of carcinization so even if you don't get go don't get resonant to run it um it's just really interesting like it, one of the inspirations is havana syndrome like i don't know you know for your viewers and watchers familiar with havana syndrome and what that supposedly does you know to people and things like that like you know, Oh, yeah. sound sound battles and you know stuff like that um it's got a bunch of really great uh tony tran aren't in it uh die sugars did the layout and design and totally like made some amazing propaganda pictures uh out of with using tony's art and just really did it a, a kick-ass job with with the design and the layout like overall like i can't say that enough about die like obviously like he's my friend and works for us doing you know marketing and design but just overall in general just like i'm just lucky enough to be able to work with him and like see th the way that stuff comes out of his brain you know what i'm saying like all, all all these folks i get to work with like i'm usually the first person who gets to see a lot of this stuff that's kind of why i do that's that's the real secret of what i do is because i want to be first yeah absolutely so yep 100 percent yeah, uh, I saw the the die posters up on Twitter last evening, um, mm -hmm. and they're fantastic. I mean, die does yeah. an amazing job with the promo, yeah. with the editing, with the layout. I mean, uh, the the we've got. I've, I think I've lost count of the number of times we've we've reviewed a book and seen die's name as the the layout person. They're always stunning. So, <laughs> so it's an it's a it's a great. Uh, they're a great person to have on the team. Um, all around, it sounds like. I mean, you again the you know everyone and the team that you have around you is fantastic i mean you talked about eric hill with the um with the kill the wizard you know they're they're worth uh, working with meatheads right now i think there's like 48 hours left mm -hmm. on that go back that yep um mm -hmm. and uh and you actually were the one that was like hey uh you should meet this person and talk to them about meatheads and that was such a a a great you know introduction appreciate that because eric is fantastic mark's fantastic meatheads was such a great game to run with uh with stella cool. um who's in chat so just the the connections you've built and clearly keeping the the good people around you has definitely made you know space penguin i mean i can't imagine i can't i can't finish one single thing much less start a company and put out what like 20 things by this point so um uh, it's probably definitely helped to have these wonderful people around you no, oh, absolutely. Like the, it's, I can't do any of this. Um, oh, 
Uh, sorry. <laughs> Phone blowing up, making things. Uh, it, it never stops. Up. It never <laughs> stops. Yeah. No. Uh, this is this is not. This is this is the part. This is the business. Um, seriously, without 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 writers writing, without artists arting and layout layouting and and editing editing and designing design, you know, and marketing marketing, without any of those people, we don't we don't have anything to do. You know, what I'm saying with, with without that, we're without the act of creation, we're just consuming and like that's great, but like just I don't know, it's just it's fun to be on this this side of it. You know, like I have. We won't go into the on the show because whatever. But um, even when it gets really, really, really down, and I'm just like, I just want to quit. I want to phone ever. I want. I want you to end up and close all contracts. Want to end the whole thing. And, and Debbie's just like, Well, what are you gonna do? And I was like, You're right. I would be bored. You know, I'm an, I'm one of those people. I was getting our tire repaired the other day, and one of the guys was like, Oh yeah, I retired, and now I'm unretired because i'm working because you know the inflation is so bad and blah 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 and i was like what are you, what are you guys talking about like i'm not even 50 yet and i'm skipping retirement we're just gonna work until we die nice the american dream yeah. i mean like yeah why not but then i think about it and i think about like my parents my grandparents and my great-grandparents they all like retired and like i'm just like you know we, we live here in florida and like i just i kind of like wonder like do you, i guess i guess folks get to read more yeah i guess they have time to read so that's that might be cool i to play golf retire, a but i don't yeah. like golf like he i like mini golf that's kind of fun but you can only yeah. you know like you can only do some mini golf courses like so many times like once usually yeah. did i just lock up again no well not such a but no, I, I feel I would, I would retire right now and literally do nothing for the next 30 years i am definitely a person who could easily uh, never work um, and not be bored at all. That'd be fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I'm going to be long dead by 65. So that's nothing that I really need to worry about at all. <laughs> fair, um, fair, fair. But uh, uh, not dark at all. Yeah. Hey, listen, you know, the American dream is for uh, the richest to uh, work the poorest until they die, consuming all the profits um, mm -hmm. and uh, hoarding like fucking dragons, you know? I mean, America. You know? Yeah. Good times. Jeff's, Jeff, Smaug, Jeff Smaug, Bezos, etc., etc. Yeah. Hey, thanks for Twitch. Oh. Um, I wonder. I wonder wait. how much. Uh, I wonder how dark the these these, these sh episodes are going to get. Like the rest of this election year. Oh, oh God. God. I mean, yeah. You know, it is. It is. It is what it is. You know. We Old man, twenty twenty four. Geriatric, <laughs> geriatrics, twenty twenty four. Woo! Dark um, Lord for president, twenty twenty four. Seriously, yeah. seriously. I mean, do you want to just get? I mean, let's just get weird. Let's just do. Let's just say Aaron Rodgers for VP. Like, why not? There like, you go. come on, hey, come on, I'm just do gonna, it. I'm not even gonna joke about what. Um, <laughs> yeah, wait. Hold my on. God, my God. Um. So this has been Not Cat Chat episode two. <laughs> Very excited for all the stuff that's coming out. Um, we will make sure repeatedly that we tell you about the Cairn boxed set um, boxed. that is releasing on what day? Uh, the, the Kickstarter goes live on, is it Wednesday? Wednesday, uh, March 27th uh, at time TBD. Um, I honestly I have had a couple when we announced that, hey, this is the date that it's going to go live. I know shit you not. Soon as the soon as that email went out, I had three different people want to know what time. And I'm like. Sometime during the day. Sorry. Yeah. Like, You're all freaks hey, at some point in time. They you get it's all the same thing. Listen, it's not a Max Moon Kickstarter. I'm not going to have to get number one right. every single time. Yeah. Um, I, you're gonna I, get think, the same box I think that's I think that's what it is too. Is like a lot of people want to be. So those one. people have been getting that that first forty eight and that whatnot. And hey, like awesome. Like if that's that that's a way to do it. But again, like I said at the beginning of the show, like I I want to. I'm I don't want to have to interact with that at, that aspect of it and that. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it our way a little bit. There we go. Nice. All right. 
Well, dirt getting a little choppy again here. Of so course we're I am. Just, we're gonna we're we're that's gonna be our not cat chats too. Um Jert hmm. is gonna be back next month again. Every I think we plan for like two more months before we need to sit down and actually pick dates yes. again. Yeah. Yes, and I have it in um, my calendar. There we go. So but uh for those that like our tangents that give you a little bit of information um and some behind the scenes about uh one of the um in our opinions uh best uh indie people right now uh the stuff that they're putting out as well as the people that are involved in everything that they're doing uh keep tuning into our not cat chat so you can keep hearing about space penguin hear from jert hear the behind the scenes of everything that's going on and hear about all these projects that are coming out so jert thank you so much for being here um great to have I you mean, yeah, yeah we'll thanks talk for having like, me. Appreciate it all the time, anyway. And uh, and we'll let you guys know ahead of time before Jert will be back again. So uh, that's it. That's us for today. So we'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.